Greetings, Gurites. This is the Game Guru, and joining me is... The Watcher of Games. And today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Sacred Stones. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, we have a very giant Erica about to go to a smaller forge. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Erica is grateful to the, for the king's aid. Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grotto. <coughs> the group's first stop is the remote village of Ide which was, until very recently, a part of Rene. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Rene with her own eyes. Chapter 2 The Protected Flawless Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Rene and pass Rene. this... Seraphew into Grotto territory. I hate Seraphew. That was mixed line. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any runs with Grotto soldiers. Princess, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, your highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. <laughs> Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness. I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere's one word for it. <laughs> I wasn't too far off oh, either. That's... Sincere, yes, quite. Oh, this is where we get Ross. Hey, boss. <coughs> we found more village. Is ripe for the picking. One, two, three. Ha ha ha. I love a good war. With all these soldiers preoccupied, we're free to purge as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Guess up. Dad, bandits approaching. Hmm, I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. <clears throat> no, the village was destroyed. Uh -huh. Ooh, sorry. Ross? What is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's it's just a scratch. Just what a flesh wound. You're a warrior, Dad, and I am your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. Ah, this looks suspicious. I must Blood. report back to... <laughs> Wait, I screwed that up? That serious. God damn it. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. A whole, like, 20 feet. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Looks pretty destroyed to me. Bandits? <clears throat> we have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible. But... 
But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair the village is. I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Mordor, can your <clears throat> staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff. But... I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa. It's up to you. Very well. I'm off. Bye. Oh, save time by picking them up first. <clears throat> It's pretty simple to figure out what to do. And always, always, always visit the villages. <clears throat> That's Selena! Oh! The, the girl this on the is right terrible. is General Selena. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close! If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed! Perhaps. People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant, whoever you are. I am a fucking princess. I mean, I am Er... My name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry, it's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selina, a general in Grado's army. Ah! Is something wrong? No, uh, <clears throat> nothing. It looks like those villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. Fuck the villagers after all, they're just villagers. You're armed, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um... Is there a problem? No, of <clears throat> course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of Grotto's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. Money! Well, a red gem, but still, sort it's, of money. It, it's money. You, all it is is cell bait. Yep. Garcia is more than capable of taking care of himself for the moment. And he's even smart enough to use the fort. Yep. Oh my my village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. All right, just, just, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. What a masculine-sounding voice you have, princess. Seth. Take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait. I'm going to fight too. But your boobies compel me. My father's all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to him as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. All right, I can see I'm not going to be swayed. 
but you must promise me you will stay close to us. As he promptly runs right away. It's one of the only times I'll give Seth a kill. Because he has to reach that village down there. Or bad things happen. Yeah, or they're going to burn it to the ground. Yep. And we want all of the villages. Yep. <clears throat> good, th good thing his injuries have healed. Yeah. Sword through the forehead. Got a vulnerary. Vulnerary. You know, for a legendary fighter, he's kind of crap. Hey, at least he was... But why'd he move off the... He's well, attacking at range, so he can't be counterattacked. Still. I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter, but... Do you know who I am? I am the fabulous General Seth. That sounds more like Vulture's voice. No, Vulture's is much more high pitched. True, he's more feminine. <laughs> God damn it, Ross, you suck. Well, of course he does. He's not a real warrior yet. Ten. Witty commentary. Witty commentary. <clears throat> hey, that's your job. I have to focus on not losing. It's hard to think of witty commentary on the spot. Look at that man stabbing the other man. I think Gilliam just hit with a 28% chance. Remember, kids. If someone is red, that means they're an enemy. And if they're blue, that means they're your friend. What are you, and racist against neutral. Indians? But this is what this game is teaching us. All the enemies are red and all of your friends are blue. So I guess Smurfs are always your allies. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. <clears throat> Got an elixir. Elixirs heal all your health, right? Or do they do something else I don't no, remember? No, it's full health. It's a full heal. Hmm? What is it? What's all the ruckus? What? B -b -b bandits Spread the word, everyone. Close the village gates. Thank you for your warning. Please, accept this small token. Well, that was easy. I didn't even have to say a word. Oh, the pain. No, no, why would you? <sighs> God damn it, Garcia. Well, you we haven't talked to him yet. Yeah, but I can't. Oh, right. <clears throat> Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. 
There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. All right. Listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here. Together! Uh, yep. Well, you can fight all you want, but you're going to do it from back here. Because safety! percent chance to hit that's not gonna happen. Hey, you never know. Not this time. Holy shit. The RNG is loving me. Which is really a surprise, because usually it hates you. I know, right? Always be sure to heal with your healers because that's the only way they can get any sort of XP. Yeah, I literally just did it for the experience. And because eventually you can get them to have a real weapon and whatnot, but... Well, Why would you give a healer a weapon? I don't know, because they don't exactly have the greatest power. But I mean, what if they need to defend themselves? What if it's like that one mission in, um... I don't remember which Fire Emblem. Was it Path of Radiance? Might have been. Which one? The one where, um... Or yeah, actually, it has to be Path of Radiance. Where Ike and his friend have yeah. to fight. Yeah. And it's not his friend, friends. it's his sister. Friend, sister, same it's thing. Missed. Mm, yes. He missed an opportunity there, that's for sure. What? Are you high? I'm making an incest joke. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if she crits. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Who? You. Yep, goodbye. Get wrecked, mate. Ugh, blast. She really likes to crit with that thing. That's good. Actually, she I wanted to give Ross the kill. True. It's a shame there's not that many, um... Is there a whole bunch of rapiers? I don't remember not the name really. of rapiers. And... yeah. Oh, the pain. It's a shame, because they're really good. Oh, of course. Why do lords always tend to use rapiers for some reason? Tradition? I guess. Oh, shit. Damn it! Wait, you have a slim lance, don't you? Damn it! Oh. Attempted to give Ross the kill? I'm trying to get Ross a kill, and it's not working. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. That's... that's stupid. It takes a lot of effort. If you want to level up certain people. God damn it. I'll just kill him. I should get Ross promoted by the end of the next map, though. Even if he doesn't get much here. Does he start as a regular fighter? No, he's uh, unpromoted. He's a or is he the, the... Let's find out. Journeyman. Journeyman. Yeah, I didn't think so, because he's not as good as Garcia. And Garcia isn't all that good, as is. But he's another person to have in the party. Oh, plus Nothing the unpromotes happens. are, like, insane. They take more work, but... I guess that's why they're insane. accidentally hit the speed up button. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Look at that. Ross got the kill. Excellent. <clears throat> ding, 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 ding. Dope. That was an incredibly awesome, but 
And the strength is really good. You saved my little son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Rene, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He do was a troop that commander way? for Rene until around ten years ago, when I was a recruit. The soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rene. Master Garcia, you must know the peril of our homeland and what it faces right now. Line. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was way off. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Rene once again? I'm sorry, I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's... It's a decision I made a long, long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles like her. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, and I'm done with you, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm the boy's father. You, you blasted fool! Don't you talk to your father that way! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross? If you're not going, then I will! I'm a fighter! No, you're a journeyman. I know I can do this. <laughs> Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? Yes, and you're actually really bad at it. <laughs> I'm not a child anymore. I disagree. I'm a warrior like you. I disagree with that too. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. I highly doubt that. So do I. Ross. You want to challenge me, father? I would win in one strike. Lass. He'd probably trip over himself. I'm a fighter, the best in all of Ide. But I'm in Ide. I'm not gonna lose to you. I'm not gonna lose to anyone. Except that tree. And that rock. And my axe. And You're Garcia right. decides to be a pussy. You're a good soldier, Ross. Except for all the reasons why you are not a good soldier. And Garcia is a good liar. So Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you after all. Dad. Shut up, kid. Adults are talking. <laughs> Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. And he's pussy. tougher than I thought. But that still doesn't say much. He doesn't he's need my than I help. thought. He can now take three beatings instead of two. I raised him as best I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad. Shut up. Adults are talking. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. <laughs> we would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. My mustache says you should rest. Your safety is reward enough. Oh, how kind of you. Uh, well, my, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank could you. I just have that? 
my father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. But you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rene was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are buzz buzz bandits. They are cruel beyond words. Mm, yes. Ooh, foreshadowing. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Still worth more than Ross at this point, though. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and, well, oh, it was awful. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Rene is finished. Mark my words. The Grano Empire stole in our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Sephraim would prevail. But rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Grano's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with Cal. I think I found my new favorite NPC. <laughs> oh my. Hey, speed it up. Hmm. Look to the screen, buddy. My screen share is not responding. Hey, frame. Just cover. <laughs> Just cover, cover. <laughs> it's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, yes Sephiroth! Okay. Let's begin! Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. But just in case I want to critical three people in a row... Technically yet, it was, uh, four. True. And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So, I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but... I'm your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of sword play, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. Alright, alright. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never. Well, there was last night at dinner when you complained about your soup. Something about being too cold or too hot. The third one was apparently just right. Oops. Oops. Beg your yeah, pardon. Yeah. I'm totally stealing Colm, shut up. Very well. Hey! Brin says, are you alright? Yeah. yes Someone bumped into me is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimenta uh, sentimentality Fine. get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet regardless of cost. It could be a MacGuffin. You cannot <laughs> lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Fly, Shadow Facts! Alright, and we're gonna cut it there, and we shall see you all next time. Yes, very well. Uh -huh. Well, that's convenient. 
Mick, you apparently have powers of foresight. He's not even the Watcher. Holy shit. Oh! Eric is just oh, fucking oh. these guys up. Double crits. Oh,